In this video, we'll be uh, listening to the interview of uh, Felix Munoz, uh, the former director of uh, marketing communications at Coca-Cola. Uh, he'll help you to understand how to run a successful marketing communications campaign uh, by referring to one of his experience of failure while dealing with the product Coke Zero. Let us listen to Felix Munoz. In this lecture, we have Felix Munoz with us. He has 25 years of industry experience, uh, usually with senior executive positions and mainly at Coca-Cola, Telefonica and Movistar. Uh, what is very interesting about him is that whenever he starts to work for a company, he actually changes the way the company works. So we have some tough questions for him today. Uh, the first one is, what are the main rules that dictates a successful marketing communications campaign? Well, marketing communications is not a simple task and has not uh, simple rules to, to, to do. Uh, it's a very long and complex uh, process in which you have to consider that uh, marketing communication is not an art, it's a science and it's not just uh, by doing advertising or these sexy things, it's, it's just trying to improve your business, trying to help people that is doing business and and get results. So, uh, main rules for marketing communications is uh, basically to understand the human being because at the end of the day you are working uh, with human being, with persons, we are, you are working with people, you are trying to introduce some perceptions in the people, you have to know how to, how to do that, how, you have to understand which are the process that internally in the brain of people is, is working when they decide or they behave some things uh, around your business. So, first is to understand the human being. Secondly, is to know perfectly which is the mechanism that uh, a brand has to, to, to have value in the main of people, in the, in the brain of people. So, you have to know exactly which is the mechanism that, that is behind uh, a brand. Because at the end, we are, you are trying to insert a brand perception in the, in the brain of people. And third, you have to know which are the tools that you have to use to, to do that. Uh, basically, technology today is, is one of the main things that you have to use. Uh, you are mm, to be totally aware about the capabilities that you have in your hands to, to, to do that communication with people. Uh, not just technology, the digital things, the digital tools. Today, you have to be totally updated uh, about the things that you, you can do with people. Society are evolving very fast and you are um, uh, in the obligation to, to do as well in the same sort of velocity. So, uh, just briefly, to know persons, people, human beings, to know brands and the mechanisms that you have to act with them and to know the tools that you have to do. Then, about the process and, and about how you do that, is a, is a process that starts uh, in, the, in the basic is just to understand which is the, the business. Uh, you have to know exactly which is the problem that you have to solve. Communication by itself is nothing. Communication is just uh, looking at a problem and trying to, to do a solution, to look for solutions for that problem. So, first, to know the the business, which is the problem that you have to solve. Secondly, which is the strategy that is behind your brand? Which are the things that you have to tell about the brands, not in the rational way, that is very easy, but in the emotional side. Uh, brands are uh, values, are perceptions in the, in the mind of, of people. Uh, so that strategy has to be very strong and very fixed. Uh, third is design the brand, design which is the aspect, external aspects or the messages or the territory that the brand is going to occupy. Uh, third, you have to do a plan. Plan means the sequence in which you are going to deliver that messages. Uh, fourth is the execution part, is the way that you are going to contact the, the people and customers that you, you, you decide. Um, and you have to try to use all the the contact point, all the touch points that are uh, all the time in contact with consumers and customers. So, uh, and the final phase of this process is to evaluate, to have an accurate measure of the things that you are doing. Uh, you learn if you have a 
measure of the things that you have at the beginning and at the end of the process. Uh, about references, I have a lot uh, in 25 years and uh, with the dozens of brands that I had um, handled in the past. But for instance, uh, we had a problem with Coca-Cola Zero. Coca-Cola Zero is a, a new brand that uh, we launched in the past. Uh, well, at the beginning, everybody understood which is the which is the role of of this uh, uh, suffering in the in the mind of people. It's just uh, a Coca Cola without sugar. Uh, the problem is that uh, we try to explain that, but the people that doesn't believe. They say, well, no, it's not possible to replicate the taste of Coca Cola. And uh, despite we did a lot of campaigns, we launched a lot of uh, TV commercials, people doesn't believe that. And people say, well, no, it's not the same. And the taste is not, it's not equal. So we try to focus that problem, no by communication, regular co or conventional communication, no by TV commercials, just by doing something or trying to demonstrate in the street people that is not capable to distinguish the, the taste of both products. Uh, once you have the idea, we try to make this idea liquid. Liquid means that it's not just an idea that happened in the street. It's an idea that happened in the media, happened in the magazines, happened in the social media, happened in the internet, in YouTube. Uh, this way, we deliver the message in a very credible way to the people. And when we did that, in three months, we passed from losing sales by 5% every month uh, to uh, during one year, uh, growing up 50%, 50% during one year. So this is the sample. So we have a problem, we have an idea, we apply creativity to do that, and once we execute the idea and we get results and we have the measure of the objectives. So uh, these are the few points I would like to highlight from what uh, Felix was uh, sharing. Uh, especially the importance of having an understanding on human beings, uh, the importance of uh, understanding the brand mechanisms uh, by which the values are offered to the consumers and uh, the importance of being updated with the various tools involved in uh, communications. And parallelly, it is also important for you to understand and define uh, what the core business is all about. Uh, you should always have a strategy in place and it is uh, also important for you to decide in advance that what you are going to communicate about your brand and most importantly your communication should be emotional and not rational if you can develop an understanding on all these aspects then you would be able to run a successful marketing communications campaign in the next video uh, we'll be discussing about how to choose a marketing communications agency.